Thanks everybody for coming out to pitch day on March 9th, 2022. It's a great day to pitch. Today we're going to hear from Sydney Couturio uh, from Purple Rose Supply. Can't wait to hear about it. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Sydney from Purple Rose Supply. Now I've been smoking cannabis for a long time, but I was bored with my options. Everything on the market was a variation of something that already existed. I mean, how many different types of bongs does one person really need? Because of this frustration, I launched Purple Rose Supply. The aim was simple, help customers reach the peak of their smoking experience. <clears throat> now it started when I was scrolling through Instagram and saw a cannabis cigar that was supposed to burn for hours. Joints burned too fast for me and I was spending a lot of time rolling up more. I needed this upgrade, but there were two problems. One cigar cost $400 and I had to fly two hours to get my hands on one. So I set out to solve my own problem and created the kit that let me make a cigar within minutes. Purple Rose Supply was born. And the result, customers were able to turn their 10 minute smoking session into two hours without having to roll up again. <clears throat> and how did it do? Well, we made over $2 million in sales at a gross profit margin of 75%. Our product is in over 300 smoke shops globally and we've sold over 66,000 units. Now this product line is financially self-sufficient and grows almost on autopilot. Now, after gaining our customers' trust, they came to us to solve an even bigger problem. They rolled their cannabis with a wrap, but weren't happy with their options. They wanted to roll with cannabis leaves, but this didn't exist. Now, why are people drawn to cannabis leaves? After talking to our customers, we learned. The first one's obvious. They want to smoke their cannabis wrapped in the same plant. They just view this as the most natural way to smoke. They also want a wrap that's not laced with chemicals, heavy metals, and pesticides, unlike their current wraps. And most importantly, they're starting to spend more money on their cannabis, so they want to be able to taste cannabis and not the wrap. It's also important to note that flavored tobacco wraps were created because regular wraps taste nasty. And with the recent ban on flavored tobacco, even more consumers will be looking for a wrap that tastes great and gives a slow burn like tobacco. Now, we solve this by taking leaves straight from the cannabis plant and slow curing them to create a natural wrap that lets customers taste their cannabis. Each batch is tested for pesticides and heavy metals, and most importantly, it wins every blind taste test. Since there's no THC in the leaves, it's classified as hemp, which means we could ship to almost all 50 states as well as anywhere hemp is legal. Now, you might be wondering, why has no one thought of this before? It turns out, not only is it a difficult process, but most leaves are too small to make it work. So we started working with a geneticist on a non-GMO breeding program to produce larger leaves. In the meantime, we partnered with eight farms that get us leaves almost four times larger than the standard. Farmers don't have a need for these leaves, so they end up getting tossed, which makes this process completely sustainable. And once our breeding program is completed next year, we'll have even larger leaves that'll enable automation. This will drive our unit cost from $6 down to $1. <clears throat> now companies have tried to solve these same problems. You have natural leaf wraps appearing like palm leaves and banana leaves. There's thin rolling papers so you're closer to smoking pure cannabis. And there are hemp wraps made from cannabis, but they process into paper. They all taste horrible and aren't the most natural you can get. Something crucial is missing. A natural cannabis leaf wrap doesn't exist and that's where we come in. Now with small batch production, we sell via an e-commerce waitlist that grows organically because customers can skip the line by referring their friends. But once production is scaled up, we'll utilize our 379 distribution partners and acquire new customers through paid ads and our cigar kit email list. <clears throat> now currently our wraps retail for $18 and we have a gross profit margin of 66%. But once we automate this process and bring our unit cost down to $1, our gross profit margin will be at 94%. And in regards to our cigar kits, they currently retail for $50 with high gross profit margins for both B2C and B2B. Now let's talk about the opportunity here. The TAM for smoking accessories is $17.7 billion, and our SAM is the accessory market within North America, Australia, UK, and Europe. And based on a bottom-up analysis, we believe we can capture 50 million with our products in the next five years.
Now, as far as our financials go, we grew 3x from 2019 to 2020. And despite us diverting our focus to developing our cannabis wraps in 2021, we still achieved more than 15% growth with a year end revenue over 1 million. Now, one important call out is that we estimated that our EBITDA in 2021 would have been close to 500K had we not reinvested all of that money into building our cannabis wraps. But with the reinvestment, our EBITDA was still strong at 85K. And we project that we'll be able to double our revenue this year and significantly increase it in 2023 and 2024 once we've scaled up production for our cannabis wraps. And this is our leadership team. We have several years of experience in engineering, marketing, operations, and business development. Along with this, we have nine other team members. Three of them are in sales, or three are in marketing, one are in sales, and five are on the production team. This is the team that was able to bootstrap a business that made over $2 million in revenue with no investment, all while building a secondary product line, and we're confident that we could do it again. Right now, we're looking to raise $1 million via convertible note, and this money will primarily be used to grow our cannabis wrap product line and will be split across production staffing, automation, and marketing. Now, visiting trade show after trade show, it's obvious that the industry is dying for an all-natural cannabis wrap. If we don't capitalize on this moment now, within the next year, somebody else will. It's only a matter of time. We already have the foundation set in place to scale. We have the product. We have a proven team. All we need is the capital, and we can easily turn the engine on. And uh, I, I know my, uh, that was pretty much uh, the end of my pitch. I know it's short, so uh, I could go into some of my uh, appendix slides as well. Um, in regards to our uh, competitive advantage, uh, right now we're the first mover in this category and we have a loyal brand following. We know that competition will come, but by then we'll, uh, we hope to be a household name for this category. This is actually why we called ourselves Native Leaf. We felt that Native Leaf would be the most fitting name for this category since the wraps are made out of leaves that are native to the plant. Along with this, we're filing provisional patents for key parts of our production process. And once our breeding program is completed, we'll have the license for the world's largest hemp genetics. This will bring our unit cost from $6 down to $1. And this, from our opinion, this is gonna be a major advantage that we believe that nobody else will be able to compete with. Um, additionally, uh, you might be wondering like why launch the cannabis wraps now? Uh, you know, since 2018, the, uh, the hemp farm bill came that made uh, uh, hemp federally, uh, federally legal. So uh, just capitalizing on that now before uh, somebody else comes in. Additionally, as I mentioned before, there is a flavored ban on, uh, or there is a ban on flavored tobacco. Uh, so a lot of those customers will be coming in uh, looking for alternatives. Uh, hemp genetics are also producing uh, much larger leaves than they are before. And from what we've seen and just talking to our customers, surveying them uh, through phone calls as well as type form surveys, uh, they're all trending a little bit towards wellness now and uh, kind of leaving that those old tobacco wraps behind. Um, another common question that we get also is uh, if we've forgotten about our first uh, our first product. So uh, absolutely not. You know, we have uh, the newest uh, generation in beta right now. Along with that, we have a lot of uh, complimentary items like our uh, cigar torch, uh, cigar humidors, uh, cleaning kits, uh, glass collaborations, limited edition drops, um, cones and shells, uh, different types of wrap, wrapping material for our uh, cigar kits. Um, also models to fit existing, um, you know, uh, existing uh, paper cones uh, that uh, our consumers uh, often buy. Um, so we absolutely have not uh, forgotten about it. So thank you for your presentation.